Hello friends. Welcome to the ISO series carried out by I4 Consultancy. Now, sharing a knowledge is what we believe in. So, let's start the new topic of information security. That is, clause number 10 which focuses on cryptography of ISMS framework. Now, mapping the requirements of ISMS with the cryptography, the ISO standard 27001-2013 has classified cryptography into clause number A.10.1 that is cryptographic controls. Now, the clause number A.10.1 cryptographic control objective talks about ensuring proper and effective use of cryptography to protect confidentiality, authenticity and or integrity of the information. It has been divided into A.10.1.1 that is policy on the use of cryptographic control and A.10.1.2 that is key management. Now let's see what's there in them individually. Clause number A.10.1 that is cryptographic control talk about what is use to achieve the three security objectives that is confidentiality, integrity and non-repudiation. Talking about confidentiality, using encryption of information to protect sensitive or critical information either stored or transmitted. Integrity focuses on using digital signatures or message authentication code to protect the authenticity and integrity of stored or transmitted sensitive or critical information. Now talking about the non-repudiation, it uses cryptographic techniques to obtain proof on the occurrence or non-occurrence of an event or action. Policy A.10.1.1 that is policy on the use of cryptographic control. Let's start with the control it talks about. The control says a policy on the use of cryptographic controls for the protection of information shall be developed and implemented. Further, it talks there should be a policy on the use of encryption plus the cryptographic authentication and integrity control such as digital signatures and message authentication codes and cryptographic key management. Talking about A.10.1.2 that is key management, let's start with the control it gives. A policy on the use, protection and lifetime of cryptographic keys shall be developed and implemented through their whole life cycle. It further talks about what key management exactly is. So, key management is the management of cryptographic keys in the crypto system. It includes dealing with the generation, exchange, storage, use and replacement of the keys. Now, the cryptographic system use different type of keys. It can be asymmetric or metric keys. A10.1.2 that is key management. Now, in this, as we have talked about the symmetric and asymmetric key, let's see what they basically are. Asymmetric key. In an asymmetric key algorithm, the keys involved are identical for both encrypting and decrypting a message. Keys must be chosen carefully and distributed and stored securely. Talking about the symmetric keys. Asymmetric keys, in contrast, are the two distinct keys that are mathematically linked. They are typically used in conjunction to communicate. Further continuing with the topic, 
The key management talks about generating keys for different cryptographic system and different applications, generating and obtaining public key certificates, distributing keys to the intended users including how keys should be activated when received, storing the keys which includes how authorized users obtain access to keys, changing or updating keys including rules on when keys should be changed and how this change will be done. The next point is recovering keys that are lost or corrupted as a part of business continuity management. Archiving keys, for example, for information archived or backup. The next point talks about destroying the keys which are of no longer use. Now let's talk about few cryptographic standards. There are number of standards that are related to cryptography like encryption standards, hash standards, digital signature standards, the next is public key infrastructure, next is wireless standard, US government federal information processing standard and RFC that is internet request for comments. These are the few standards which are taken into account when doing the cryptography and according to which the information is secured using various public and private keys. These are the few references which I have taken for the presentation. Moving forward, for more details, you can visit our website that is www.i4consultancy.com and the next is www.i4technolab.com. Thank you and hope you are liking our ISO series. Have a great day.